Whew, this condo tour is turning into a marathon. All right. To the right of my workstation, we've got Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got Lady Death posing with Thanos. We've got the Shredder. Behind them, we've got the Kevin Smith Batman Cacophony uh, comic book uh, series uh, collection that I got actually at Kevin Smith's secret stash um, on the way back from MAGFest this year. We've got the Marvel Comics uh, cool anniversary book back there that I got in the 1980s in New York. With the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, oh my god. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Complete Collection Volume 1 that I also got at Kevin Smith's secret stash. Down here we've got the Boomer from Gears of War 3 along with Dead Fred underneath him. We've got the Nathan Drake Collector's Edition statue from the Collector's Edition of Uncharted 3. We've got a Blanca statue behind him. We've got the Cole McGrath collectible statue from the Collector's Edition of Infamous 2. We've got the... Oh my god, why, how am I... Oh fuck, how am I, how am I blanking on him? Phoenix, Marcus Phoenix. Holy shit, that was bad. How did I forget this guy? Marcus Phoenix, the main character of the Gears of War series of games. Got the collector statue from the collector's edition of that. Behind these gentlemen, we've got the Dark Souls strategy guide that a fan gave me. If I ever want to play Dark Souls again. We've got Lego art that I actually got at 2 Mini Games 2011. And I'm going to be honest with everyone. This is a, a Metroid. I really liked it. And I was disappointed because this year he was also there again, this Lego artist. And I really wanted to get something from him. And he left. He didn't stay on Sunday. He was gone on Sunday when I made all my acquisitions. So, Lego dude, just so you know, I would have bought something from you and promoted you, but you left early. God damn it. Behind, <laughs> behind Marcus Phoenix is the Collector's Edition art book for Skyrim. Down here, we've got a Bronze Mephisto statue. We've got the Batman mini statue from Batman Arkham City Collector's Edition. Behind him, we've got the Skyrim statue. That's right, the dragon from Skyrim. That Collector's Edition statue. To the right, we've got Super Scroll. And then behind these guys, we've got the Marvel Encyclopedia and the Marvel Chronicles book, which is actually the... It's very similar to this book from the 1980s, but it was made in the 2000s, so it's like a 20 years later seeing the same style of book. Um, here on this, we've got a lot of things stored, like the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition stuff, the, my online game system that someone donated for me to try. Behind that is actually the Call of Duty Black Ops 1 uh, RC car. Okay, I have that. The hard drive for my PlayStation 3, because I wanted to expand its, its space, and I never did because I'm lazy. Actually, I take that back. It's because I'm busy. A ridiculous amount of old games, some of which you've seen in playthroughs, some of which you have not seen in playthroughs, some of which you've seen in Project 7. Lots of stuff here. I'm not going to go through all of it because it will take me way too long to show you everything. Um, I've got some stuff I'm going to be giving away, like I've got some free PlayStation Plus passes. I'll be giving away to fans one-month passes where you can get games for free. Down here we've got movies, we've got games, we've got camera equipment. I mean, we've got, this is the 1080p camera I bought last year. Tried it out, realized that the, the videos didn't look any better on YouTube than they did, uh, you know, with the 720p camera I'm recording with right now because YouTube fucking molests 1080p videos. All kinds of shit down there that I'm not going to get into. It's all, usually it's collector's edition stuff. Like, this is the collector's edition of Box from Gears of War 3. That's the Box from Uncharted 3. I need to clean this up. It's a hideous mess, but it is what it is. To the right of that, we've got my Blu-ray DVD collection and gaming collection of modern games. So you see all kinds of shit in here. A Toy Story Blu-ray Trilogy, Soul Calibur 5 Collector's Edition Box, Skyrim, a bunch of Blu-rays. Moving down, you see games, Dark Souls, Deus Ex, Final Fantasy X uh, 13 2, Mass Effect 3, moving down, all kinds of Blu-rays, the Mel Brooks Collection, regular DVDs, games mixed in with all kinds of shit. We got Diablo 3, the X-Men Trilogy on Blu-ray, Ten Commandments on Blu-ray. Over here we got games. We got stuff here. Look at going down. More DVDs. Oh my god. Can you believe it? More Blu-rays. We got a Blu-ray stack here going up. We got the Matrix Trilogy. We got the Three Stooges DVD Collection, Back of the Future. We've got the Crazy. We've got Horror Classics. Why am I talking like that? We got the Jurassic Park Ultimate DVD Trilogy, Blu-ray. We've got all kinds of Blu-ray movies. Citizen King Collector's Edition. Blu-rays, 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 Blu-rays. Okay. And then above that... Keystone Cops. Or Keystone Capers. Oh, shit. I can't remember the name of it. It's either Keystone Cops or Keystone Capers. I think it was Keystone Cops was the name of the game, but it could be Capers. Um, for an uh, Atari, that's a picture of it, and the Cause of Death Super Mario Brothers poster, 
that I got for buying so many shirts from HeyLol.com last year, whatever their commercial website is. Up next, guess what?